We've all seen them, those stray dogs with terrible skin issues roaming the streets. They're usually skinny and miserable, and it looks like absolute torture to be in their skin. It may seem overwhelming, but there are some ways for you to help them recover. Even Monsoon here arrived with almost no fur and completely infected with mange, bacteria, and fungus. Today, Monsoon and I are gonna show you how to identify the skin problem and how to treat it. No matter what the issue is, a good place to start is by improving the dog's diet. Make sure you're feeding a high nutrient, high protein diet to help improve your dog's immune system. Include coconut oil and a liquid vitamin in their food for an extra boost. Now, on to the skin problems. Sometimes horrible skin can be as simple as a flea allergy. The dog will be very itchy and have localized raw patches with scabs, and of course fleas too. To get rid of fleas, you can rub coconut oil all over the body and do an anti-flea shampoo bath the next day. If the dog won't let you bathe them, you can put on Epitix, which is a spot-on treatment. If you can't even approach the dog, there are also some oral anti-flea medicines that you can hide in food. There are two types of mange, demodectic and sarcoptic. Demodectic mange appears as localized hair loss, redness, scaly skin, and itchiness. If the infection is very bad, it can be generalized over the whole body. Demodex can't be passed to humans and can only be passed to dogs with weakened immune systems. Sarcoptic mange spreads all over the body and causes hair loss, extreme itchiness, redness and rash, yellow crust, and in advanced cases can cause thickened skin, lymph node enlargement, and emaciation. Sarcoptic mange is very contagious and can spread to other dogs and humans, so be careful and wear gloves while handling. Both types of mange can have secondary bacterial or fungal infections. Diagnosing mange is only reliable with a skin scrape, which can be done by any veterinarian with a microscope. Treating mange is best done under the advice of a veterinarian, but if you can't catch the dog or bring a veterinarian to them, here are some places to start. If you can, give them twice weekly medicated baths. Start with pet bin shampoo alternating with either cleaner pet for bacterial infections or ketoconazole for fungal infections. Every other day, rub the dog down with coconut oil to help soothe their itchy skin and kill mites, bacteria, and fungus. Weekly ivermectin is very effective for treating mange, but it must be given under the advisement of a veterinarian. It's a very powerful medicine and quite dangerous when given in high doses. If you can't bring the dog to a veterinarian, take a clear picture of the dog with a human for scale and show your vet. They might be able to estimate the weight and advise a possible dosage. Dogs can get fungal infections with or without mange. The symptoms include a cheesy smell, white or yellow discharge, and scaly or gooey skin. Fungal infections can be treated with weekly ketoconazole baths. If you can't give the dog a bath, fluconazole tablets can be given with the dosage advice of a veterinarian. Bacterial infections are quite common, especially in summer or the rainy season. They are characterized by open sores with or without pus, sticky or gooey skin, swelling, itching, and tenderness. If the patches are localized, apply aloe vera gel to the skin. This should fight the bacteria and give them some relief. If the infection is all over the body, weekly baths with pet bin or cleaner pet shampoo are very effective against bacteria. Also, in generalized infections, consider consulting a veterinarian about antibiotics. These can be given in injectable or tablet form. These are the most common skin problems we see on stray dogs, and now you have the tools to start treating them. Have you treated skin problems in your streeties? Tell us in the comments what worked for you. Many people say that why don't you put these videos on YouTube? So we have made our channel on YouTube. The link is youtube.com slash peoplefarm.